Tingnan po natin yung sinabi ng Panginoon during those that time that the Lord Jesus Christ was in Gethsemane for him. Okay? Ito yung sinaryo bago siya takipin ng mga sundalo. Amen? Pinagkaroon po siya dito ni Budas. Ah, uh, okay. uh, yes, pinagkaroon po siya. Uh, the Lord says in Mark 14, 32 to 36, Amen? They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Amen? Sit here while I pray. Yung mga disciples niya po rito, yung una-una yung tatlo. And three uh, disciples niya na nandun sa inyong sirkel. Si Leon, si Peter, sa kayong kapatid, no? si James, at si John. Amen. So, he took Peter, James, and John, yung po nakasulat po rito sa uh, verse 33, along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. Why? Kasi nakikita niya na yung mga magpangyayari sa kanya. Amen. So, the agony, there is an agony. And that even the physical body of the Lord uh, seems not to hold that uh, temptation. Amen. But the Lord says, uh, said, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Amen. It is a great sorrow experienced by our Lord Jesus Christ. He said to them, stay here and keep us going a little further. He fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, come up, Father, everything is possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Yet, not what I will, but you will be done. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, dito po sa, uh, hindi ko po nailagay na rito, yung, yung, yung uh, thorn of the flesh, nung magkaroon ng great revelation, he called during that time. Uh, sabi niya rito, praise the Lord, nakaranas din siya ng matinding kapigatian. Amen? The suffering, the first uh, chapter 11, sinabi rito ni Paul yung suffering niya. Even before that, uh, torn in the flesh. Amen. Uh, nung nakaharapin siya sa third heaven. Amen. So, but he was not boasting about that. But the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, verse 12. Amen po. At uh, chapter 12 po. Okay, so he pleaded to the Lord because sabi niya kasi dito, uh, therefore in order to keep me from becoming becoming conceited, uh, conceited kasi na-experience niya yung third heaven, nakita niya ang ating Panginoon. Uh, kung ano yung mga pangyayari doon, kung saan naroon ng Panginoon, nakita niya per, uh, either in, in the body or not in the body. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself. Amen. Sa verse 5. Kung kaya niya sinabi rito, um, because of that surpassing great revelation, therefore in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given, given a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Amen. Uh, sa na po, hindi ko na na-post yan. Sa chapter 12 po ka ng 2 Corinthians. Amen. Sabi niya, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Can we repeat that? My, my grace, grace is sufficient, sufficient for you. The grace of the Lord is sufficient for us. Amen. Amen. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Amen. It's the Lord. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. So that Christ's power may rest on me. Amen. It is a deep sorrow. Yung baga, kumuhang naman ng mga tinig no. Magtotorin sa'yo. Knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, who knows everything. Ooh, praise the Lord. Amen. You can't imagine kung ikaw mga karanas ng pagkakalo na makita mo po ang mga 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 mga. Even kisikaya. 
no? And during those times, in the Old Testament, nung magkasakit siya ng todo, na mamamatay na siya, you know, he faced the whole crying sa Panginoon. And yet the Lord hear the cry from Hezekiah. So I'm Hezekiah. Amen. So he was given 15 more years to, to stay as king. Amen. The Lord hear the cries of the boy. Mga kapatid. So, sa atin, nung may nangyayari man sa atin, ang katulad ng mga nangyayari before, sa atin, I know, just as what my example is, ano ang gagawin natin? What shall we do? Amen. So, nung mabalan man tayo ng mga mahal sa buhay, tolo tayo mananangis sa Panginoon. Lord, bakit mo na magpinawa sa iyo? No? We may be asking our Lord Jesus Christ, even yung isang kaibigan at kasama natin pastor, batang bata siyang pinawa ng Panginoon. But the family continues, continue to serve the Lord. Yung asawa niya, si Pastor Orosen, yung mga anak niya, Amen. What the, their father, the, the, the head of the family, Pastor, and uh, 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 then they started, they continue. And then they, there is a grief, talagang matindihan. Kasi may mga uh, mawawala sa atin. Ito yung isa sa pinakamatindihan. No? Pero okay lang yan, ano? Pero ni isa niya, pero nawawala ng nawawala ng pero, hindi mo nalala kung anong gagawin mo, no? Amen. Nandito, irando, minsan magmumukma ka, Lord, wala, wala na akong magagasto sa noong tatayinin ko. Ano ang gagawin ko, Lord? Pero yun yun, kinabwest ka naman na si Lord, bakit nangyayari sa akin? Why is happening to me? Amen. Therefore, sabi ng passage natin is, the sorrow intended for us by God is temporary. Amen. Makakaranas lang tayo ng ganito kapigatihan, ng deep sadness. Amen. But the Lord is telling us, it is only temporal. Amen. And hindi ito mag-iiwan, it will not leave regret. Bakit nangyari ito sa atin? Bagkos, mapapalitan ito ng joy. Ng Amen. joy, Lord, thank you. Amen. Then you will be rejoiced in the same thing na naranasan ng mga taga-Kurinto when they received the letter, the severe letter from Paul castigating them. Amen. Through the letter of Paul. And they experienced the joy that they longed for Paul. Okay, so from Titus, yung, yung messenger ni Paul noon, uh, siya pagdara ng sula, and Titus came back to Paul. So, long, Paul is longing for Titus actually when he came to uh, uh, to the part in Corinth and Macedonia when he wrote this letter addressing some issues and given to, to Titus to deliver it to a uh, Corinthian church. And Paul is longing for the return of Titus to receive the news. Ano yung nangyari? Sa surat na pinagkalawag ko sa mga pinagkalawag ko ito. And when Titus returned, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, he recognized it. He knows that the, the, the church in Corinth uh, are rejoicing and longing for him. First they speak something, even if I cause you sorrow by my letter to you, I do not regret it because it is for their good and praise the Lord. Amen? Positive yung naging effect on ito sa kanila. Paano kung naging negative ito? Amen. So, probably, the last one that we will discuss in this time. Okay, that one is so maybe in that. First is that, sorrow may be temporal, and the Lord makes it for us to realize that we have God. Only for a little while, I see that my letter to you they hurt you, but only for a little while. Sa sandaling panahon na. Yeah. Sabi niya, Now I am happy not because you were made sorry, but because your sorrow, sorrow lead you to repent. That's why you became sorrowful as God intended. Meaning that that sorrow that Corinthian church and even for us today, 
God has intended it for us to grow and make be closer to God. Ah, that is the reason why God is giving this sorrow. Then, because God is allowing us to experience the true act of repentance because of that sorrow. Amen. See, it is actually required for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So it leaves no regret because Amen. God intended for us to suffer for a while, but in the end, we will receive life. Amen. Praise the Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just like the Corinthian church, though sanctified, amen, sanctified, talagang nilinis sila, kumbaga, purified. Kumbaga, they were set apart for what the Lord wants them to be. Just like the Corinthian church, though sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be His holy people, the same thing that God is telling us to be holy. We are the children of God. Amen. 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 Now, we feel forth from God's grace. Kasi may mga experiences tayo na pwede magtulog sa atin ng kapigatiyan. Then, we feel forth from God's grace and we're challenged by sinfulness and wrongdoings. God will give us Godly sorrow that will bring, bring us back. Amen. To the sanctification process. Mga kapatid. We are still in the progressive sanctification. Kasi nandito tayo. Until we will be glorified. Amen. The right and proper time. Where we will be progressively conformed into the image and likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ. For what? To become holy and righteous. Because our Lord Jesus Christ is holy and righteous. Amen. Amen. Ito yung ano natin. Amen? First John uh, 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 9. Lagi natin itong sinasabi. Kasi, this is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ tells us, for if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins. Meaning, we recognize our sins. If we don't recognize our sins, what will happen? We continue the most to thing will happen. We will just continue to sin. Mm-hmm. And, and that's